We on, we live, yes. we doing our motherfucking thing. Yes, it's time. It is time, dude. It's time to fucking rip. It's time, dude. You got you got beef going on. Yeah, dude. I got yeah. mad beef. You got beef in the house? Me and Phil are beef in the last two days. What are you guys beefing on? Uh, he's working on the yard. Like He's like planting flowers and shit. Yeah. And if he does something, he is such a dickhead. What do you mean? Like, because he's doing that, he'll walk around and be like, what are you doing today? Like, <laughs> Just like, just constant dickhead. Like, so earlier today, I did this interview with this, uh, this Irish kid. It was pretty funny. And he, the one time he comes down the steps to work in his, his computers down here. Yeah. The, the only time in the day he came down was, um, it's like a 20 minute interview. Mm-hmm. He comes down, I'm like, fucking dad walked down he needs to be here every time i record something he's like what the fuck shane like he like spazzed on he's me. pissed dude he got pissed did i tell you this he was yeah i told you this i beeped the horn while he was cutting the lawn yeah you did, you did he, he, he lost his fucking mind what, he was what? wearing my hat and he took it off and threw it in the yard and walked inside Why'd you beep at him? I forget. Why'd you beep? Because I was going to tell him to just take my fucking hat off. It was covered in sweat. It was like a <laughs> ring of sweat in my fucking hat. I was like, why are you wearing that? Damn, dude. How's he feel? Yeah, I beeped at him. It scared him. And then he got, he, he was like, I, I was making fun of him. I was like, you're like my niece. I was like, you and my niece are the only ones I know that spaz when they get scared. Oh. He's, yeah, things haven't been good. Why didn't you do some yard work with the old man? I offered like 10 different times. I was like, you need help with that. He was like, no, I'm fine. And you no, know, it's he's not mad that I'm not helping. He's mad that he's he just did something. So he's like, he's a dickhead. Yeah, he's trying to make it seem like he, what you're doing is bullshit because you're not out there. With uh, him. Not even that necessary. <laughs> yeah, that for sure. There's definitely tones of that, but he's just angry. Like he'll come in the house like, what? What? Like if you try to talk to him. It's fucking crazy. Dude, put some blue jeans on and get out. Just grab a shovel, dude. I told him, I told him to fuck off. Don't even ask. Just go out there and be like, Paul, and just start just start digging next Paul, to him, dude. We need to plant these, you know, these get, flowers together. Hey, get those azaleas going, dude. No, nah, there were there were real men here working. I kept making fun of him for that because he didn't mulch. Oh, okay. Other dudes mulched. So he was he's more of like the uh landscape architect. Yeah, that's what he's doing right now. Which it. it actually looks really good and he's doing a good job, but it's funny. I mean, the, the cost is not worth it. Like, his oh, attitude, landscaping? His oh, attitude okay. is the actual cost of having a nice front yard is not worth Phil's. I mean, dude, we're talking pure fucking dickhead. It's not worth, you know, the, what you're, you're talking like the, the suburban pressure of the perfect lawn. This is, well, he's never given into that. He's always had a shitty yard. <laughs> like, and in my neighborhood, people go nuts for, like, Christmas and Halloween and shit. Never. Yeah. Never one. He leaves. He leaves the Christmas lights in the tree year round. That's a very good. And idea. just plugs them in. <laughs> I don't see why more people don't do that. Honestly, it's very funny. I mean, but dude, no. it, that's that's a miserable time of year of like taking down Christmas lights. Oh, I especially mean, our, our tree in the front's pretty big. That's got to be. There's got to be so many cases on like December 28th of dudes just hanging from Christmas lights of just like oh. getting to the top of the house and being like, "Fuck it, dude." Just, <laughs> just some wife being like, "When are you gonna do that?" Just, like, just suffocating yourself on the inflatable Santa, just wrapping the fucking <laughs> thing. <around. laughs> yeah, putting your head in that snow globe. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah, but I know, I know how to win. I know how to win. I anytime my mom's around, I I bring up the fact that they should have a pool. That's a guaranteed uh-huh. fight. Also, the fact that Phil has been gambling on Madden. He's been gambling on, on the video games. What? Yeah, Twitch will just air simulated games. Like, nobody's playing. Just computer versus computer. And him and his friends are fucking betting on it. So, you fe- you, you got so I ratted him out. I ratted him out. Anytime he starts talking shit, I'm like, don't you have fucking video games to bet on? And he's like, well, Shane, okay. And my mom's like, you better not be. <laughs> I mean, also, who's running these simulations? That seems like a highly fixable enterprise. Very fixable. I w- I'll throw – yo, I'll put this out there right now. I'll throw a Madden game if anyone wants to bet yeah, on it. Yeah, just I'll, change I mean, the ratings. Give Tom Brady like 99 speed. <laughs> I won't even have to throw it. I'll just lose. Bet against me in Madden. I no, would. no one's playing. It's just the computer. So this is just a sim. It's just a simulation that dudes are sitting down and watching on their cell phones and betting on it. Taking like, dude, taking like the over on like the Bears versus the Titans. 
what the fuck? Yeah, like 48 points. We got to hit it. Dude, I shouldn't – I don't know if I should be airing out the old man, but I saw one guy betting on it that was betting like $600 a game. What? Dude, he was putting $600 on Madden where no one was playing. Holy fuck, Yeah, these are board boys, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. It's COVID. That's, this makes sense. More yeah, you sense. can't put on sports, although there is NASCAR now and German soccer. So the bets have gone up. I, I watched Phil. Phil was watching a Bayern Munich game the other day. And so, I was like, wait, you have to. I was like, please take the over. He was like, it's three, three and a half. I was like, take it. Did he win? Yeah, I got him a win. Your picks are good, dude. I'm got, Well, I know soccer just from fucking FIFA. And German League, it's just Bayern Munich. Mm-hmm. They're the only team. Everybody else sucks, but it's fun. Damn, dude, that's fucking nuts. I didn't even think about what sports betters or just sports fans. In general. The only thing is NASCAR. UFC went on, right? They did an MP- UFC has been good. They've had they've had some fucking sick fights. Yeah, yeah, that's been really good. But uh, so football, bat. What is it right now? This is baseball season, right? This is supposed to be the NBA playoffs, which would have been fucking. That would have been fun, and I think Stanley Cup would have been ending soon. Who if is, it hadn't. What the fuck are they going to do? Are they going to just, like, pick up next season? Season's over, yeah. No champion? No champion. What? Yeah. And Did then, you... base, dude, baseball's plan is, like, 10,000 tests a day. Or a game. Baseball's, like, plan to come back that they, like, put out is fucking retarded. What, they're doing 10,000 what? Like, 10,000 tests of COVID, like, per day. Or per game in the in the league. It's fucking nuts. S- what the fuck? So what, what would it be? Like you would walk into a stadium, get tested, go watch the game? I think the stadium's empty. I think the stadium's empty, but they're testing like all personnel in the league every every game. I mean, baseball's not that good. To like, no, it's not. I never understood how baseball was worth that much money. I have no idea. I mean, it's, it's geezer. That, that, that's going to die. I think it's going to die hard once the geezer. I mean, there are – there's a lot of youngsters that go to Phillies games. There's a lot of like Phillies games here at least. You like go yeah. to tailgate. You're like, well, I'm at the game. I know, but think of being like a fucking Marlins fan. It's just stadiums empty every. Anyway, let's let's podcast. We're just we're just chatting right now. Come on, no, fired up, dude. We gotta get some bits. We gotta get some bits rolling, dude. I'm I'm Phil just, gambling. I, Phil's been gambling on Madden. On is it on pro mode? Like is it pro? I don't know. I don't know the difficulty. <laughs> and at the same time, he's talking shit on me for playing video games. Yeah, dude. At least you're playing them. That's a weird. Uh... <laughs> I know it's crazy. I'd be sick if you made a creative player and just like went through their simulated league and just I started know. crushing people. I know it'd be so funny to just make Phil Gillis, make him a running back. I want to start betting what on the like hell final. is this? Betting on COD would be call, call of duty would be tight. Man, that'd be frustrating. That would be pretty fun. That would be frustrating. That's I, frustrating to play. Yeah. Well, right now you just get randomly killed. Yeah. Right now I'm uh I'm in the midst of absolute Call of Duty warfare right now. Yeah, you're in it. I could, dude. God. As soon as we started this, I was like, you all right? I could just see my mans, dude. (sighs) Usually I I was, you know, I'm bragging. I'm like, I'm on the periphery. I'm not really getting, you know, I'm not getting sucked into it. You're sucked in. I was in the eye of the storm just watching like, (laughs) oh boy, it's peaceful here, but I see some clouds on the horizon. Finally got sucked into it. It It's just like, Jesus fucking Christ. Ah. It's it's it, I I don't I don't understand like what did they get you on what were the charges? Nothing. It's just like it, it's just bullshit, man. It's just like getting. It's like I'm sitting there being like, yeah, that's bullshit. Yeah, that's bullshit. Like, yeah, that one time you and you guys both said this thing to me, and I'm like, fuck, forgot about that. That was a while ago. <sighs> and like, now I just you know I'm in the doghouse. I just got literally sucked into a T4, just right into the doghouse, dude. Oh. I, was, I was chilling. I was T4. Out. You mean F4? F4. 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 <laughs> That's an F five. It sounds like you got hit with an F five. That sounds I was, like I was chilling, dude, just being like, "There looks like there's a tornado up there," yeah, and this guy sucked some, it. You saw some greenage. The clouds <laughs> went green. You had a you had a Fujita a five on the Fujita scale. Yeah. There's a tornado up there, way in Kentucky way. Got hit, I got pulled right off my, way. right off my front porch. Sucked the piece of wheat right out of my mouth, dude. I was like, "Oh shit!" Got thrown. Did you ever see that? Uh, that fucking there was a tornado uh where trump went trump i think it might have been tennessee trump went to like talk about the tornado that happened and uh he was like an amazing story this this boy he got thrown there was like a nine-year-old that got thrown like a a football field 
He just got thrown down the street. He got and hell survived. Married. Yeah, he got hell Yeah, Doug Flutie <laughs> fucking launched him. <laughs> Tornado Flutie fucking tossed a pigskin, dude. And uh, while he was like talking about how incredible the story was, and he's like, now he's back with his family. The guy was like, no, his family, his family died. And he was like, still an incredible story. <laughs> he just, that was great. Was this recently? Yeah. Yeah, it was this year. It was this, like, since January. Yeah. That's funny. Apparently, uh, I, I, I was something was brought to my attention that now they're trying to say believe all women is a like that's like alt right trap now. They're yeah, saying well, like, it, I mean, it is. It's like you know, it's yeah. Like, they made it. They made the rules. Exactly. Now it's like now well, that it's against them. It's yeah. Like this is an alt right trap, dude. This is a dude in the fucking uh, the Atlantic this week. <sighs> the Atlantic they do that every single time. What? They did. I was just reading like comments because somebody was talking about, uh, you know, somebody was talking about like canceled people on Twitter. Mm-hmm. And then they were like, they were just like talking about how, uh, what's his name? The, di- the guy that was on Saturday Night Live, the, Al-, Al Franken. Yeah. How like he got canceled unjustly. Like the, all they did was name like three liberal people that got canceled. On Z's and stuff. Like everybody else is exactly right. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny. Like, it is. Yeah, man. Dude, I, I was telling Billy today, I'm like, I just, again, I, I can't understand if the president's such an important job, how is it that if you're, like, you're trying to take down Trump, how is it that Joe Biden, if this is a job that actually matters, where in the world where you're like, all right, we need a stuttering guy with a long history of sexual impropriety. It's like, if it's that important of a job, you can't find, like, that dude couldn't be the CEO of Apple. These people are, no, of course. So it's like, you're telling Either, me. I mean, in their defense, either could Trump. Like, no, exactly. But it's like, it, it, same thing. It's like, if it's such an important oh. job, we're supposed to say that like, you know, you better get in there and pick the right person and push the button and change the world. If that's true, why the fuck is it between those two people? Like, I, do, I just don't believe that it's a real thing. When people are like, get in there and do your part. It's like, I don't think that if, if you could truly change the world by pushing up, it just, it's not the way it, anything works. Yeah. To be like, no, I, I mean, I agree. It's, everything's it's hard. But there's this one thing, and it's basically what controls everything. If you push the right button, you win. <laughs> it's like, okay. Yeah. I don't know, man. It was just funny thinking, like, that's their, that's their hope. A stuttering possible rapist, but obviously definitely not because, you know, he didn't do it. Obviously, you know, totally fabricated, but also believe all women hashtag. Yeah. It's fucking, it's just, to me, it's just funny. It's funny to watch and be like, that's the guy. These people couldn't run a fucking car dealership. Trump would run a fucking Shout out mean car dealership, dude. Oh, sorry. Trump yeah. would run a mean. <laughs> Please. He could slang metal. He could slang metal Trump, for sure. Trump would run a dealership and then just get destroyed by the IRS. <laughs> <laughs> like if Trump wasn't born rich, he'd be <laughs> slinging Hondas right now. Yeah, he'd be slanging metal for sure. And then just absolutely running a pro, running a dealership just straight into the ground. Yeah. Just stealing shit constantly, dude. I, I didn't even tell you about this. So we, oh, I, I told you about this. We got our car, and they both dealerships lied and said they didn't have 2019s. They're like, nah, we don't have them. And then like, Brittany just went on their website, our Honda.com. I was like, yeah, it says you have them. They're like, oh, oh, wow, weird. I didn't know that. And it's like, dude, seriously? Yeah. You didn't know you had to. I don't understand why they wouldn't want to sell a 2019. Yeah, or why car sales is still the last like the last like purchase you can make where it's just fucking mayhem or it's just lying it's just it's <laughs> like why is this the one thing and like i go buy a shirt it costs this much money a tv is this much money yeah. why when i go buy a fucking car there's 10 dudes with goatees trying to fucking lie to me <laughs> goatees and bracelets and <laughs> pinky rings it makes no sense <laughs> they all have gelled hair <laughs> <laughs> in any dealership in why any... does it look like a bunch of fat chris cornells are trying to take advantage <laughs> yeah, of you right? <laughs> it literally it looks like a bowling team they're all in polos and khakis and they come out and just fib dude <laughs> they just fib i worked with these guys and they're fucking i like them they're funny but they yeah. literally will lie they'll just go out and lie to people's faces all day <laughs> Start to finish. They wake up. They're like, oh, man, it's work sucks. I got to wake up early. And then just go lie to a family about a van. <laughs> it is too true. It's so fucking funny that, like. I don't understand it. 
Well, it's funny now with the internet. They're like, now nah, we don't get any 2019s. And Brittany's just like, oh, here it says here on your website you do. And they're like, oh, uh, 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 oh, yeah. uh, uh, oh, oh, here. Let, oh, yeah. And then it's like, yeah, but I don't, we, you know, we're selling them for, it's like 27,000. She's like, well, you know, this place offered us like 23. And they're like, we'll do 22. It's like, <laughs> yeah, what yeah, the fuck? Yeah. What's, you know, it, it was, dude, the whole experience was so fucking funny. Because again, I'm, I'm coaching. I'm telling her, I, I talk to you about it. I'm like, all right, what do we yeah. do? All you do, I just got a number out of them. I said, all right, yo, what's the best you can do? all you got to do. Listen, anybody trying to buy a car, go to two dealerships, see who hates each other. That's usually easy. Go to a dealership, ask them who's a shitty dealership. Yeah. They'll tell you that right away. They'll name whoever they hate the most. Then go to that place and tell them what they were going to offer and then come back. That's all you have to do. (laughs) I know. (laughs) That's all you have to do. It was so fucking funny because they – so – the first place we went to was like, we don't have 2019s. We believed them. Then we went to the other place. We don't have 2019s. Brittany looked it up, busted them. Like, okay, yeah, we'll sell you 2019. Got them way down. And then just went back to the other place. And they're like, yo, you guys have 2019s too. And they're like, no, we don't. We're like, all right, later. And they called us right back. Like, yeah, we have them. We'll beat their price. And it was just like, what the <laughs> fuck? Is it? Yeah, then it's, we, it's unbelievable. Dude, it was funny because Bay couldn't – I had to pull her off, dude. She couldn't stop going back and back and back to the point where they were just shaving like five bucks off. And I was like, I, I, I want to be able to look this uh. I want to be able to look this man in the eye when we go in there. Like we, this dude was, this was a defeated dog. Dude, we rolled in there and yeah. they were just like, you want a warranty? And I was like, nah. And they're like, uh, all right, man. See, see, that's their last hope. Yeah. And the was, last I, hope is to sell you on like paint protection and warranty. That's what it was. And fucking all that shit. No, I say no bae, every time. Talk Bay out of that. She was like, well, paint protection. I'm like, Brett, we're not getting. No, paint. that's the ultimate. Pain protection is useless. I'm like, you mean triple that? Yeah, and they're like, well, if the scratch is uh, smaller than a dollar bill, respectively, it's like, yeah, they're going to fuck me None up. None of that. That also means nothing. They're also making that up yeah. about, like, what means what. Yeah. They don't know. Like, I would say the same <laughs> thing to people just because somebody else told me. They're like, if it's a foot long, it counts. It's like, no. If the dent doesn't crack the paint and it's strictly inverted, and we'll, we'll pull it out yeah. with a vacuum cleaner, we got you on that. That'll be $1,600. Well, these are, these are dumb people, and yeah. these are – no offense to people that work in car sales, but the majority of the people are kind of like, they all have Trump blood. True. They all like the way Trump goes into a business meeting with like one fact and he'll just say it like, no matter what the, <laughs> if he knows, he knows one fact so that everybody thinks he knows what the fuck he's talking about. Yeah. That's what car dealers do. Like they'll be like inverted. That guy just learned that word. <laughs> if the dents inverted, <laughs> yeah. like, what are you talking about what's that mean well they talk fast like yeah the uh, if you you don't you want the powertrain the uh on the rs on the 08 like psh, they'll, they'll say little they'll combine words into like cool little acronyms like this guy knows cars this guy's cool this guy they just talk yeah. fast as fuck and you're like uh, I, I believe this guy yeah if he knew cars he wouldn't be selling hondas it's like being a chef and working at mcdonald's yeah you know what i mean no hondas are the best <clears throat> but i'm saying like if he was like a car expert he'd be fucking working with like muscle cars and shit have his sleeves up dude be dirty you wouldn't be selling you like a eco-friendly civic that's when i got yeah that's when i got in a fight with a guy at uh home depot the tool rental place that's when i he was just being a total dick neither of us knew anything about tools i was running a power washer but i like would call people who know in the parking lot he would tell me shit and i'm like i don't think that's right and i go Hit back with facts. In, like dude this actually you're wrong about this and he started getting lippy and it was just like dude you stand behind the desk with the apron on bro that's why i'm out with the tools i was just like <gasps> he it was, that pissed him the fuck off yeah, that's a mean thing. That was, that a, was mean a mean thing, dude, thing he said. Fuck him, man. But dude, he, <laughs> uh, he uh, yeah, man, that was so funny. I had a, I had to call Bay off, dude. She got a taste. She tasted oh, blood. It's like when a, you know they say you don't let a, what a tibble. Yeah, I was trying to grab my cat. I was gonna he hold him a, up here. He got away. He got away. I was too slow for the cat. <laughs> 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 he knew it was a trap. It was funny calling her off, and then even after we'd got them down, she was like. Let's offer him three thousand dollars less. I'm like, dude, you, you, you're, you're, you're spazzing. You can't do this, man. Yeah. So funny. I get it. It's hard not to do that. Jesus Christ, dude. My cat has a fucked up butt. Like his. Yeah, since he was a since he was a cat, he's always had shit hanging out of his ass. He's he has a really like beaten up porn star butthole. He does. No and offense right to now, your cat. No, it's all right. Right now he has diarrhea, so there's literally just <laughs> shit hanging all over the back of him. <laughs> He came out. So I had to wipe his ass the other day. Uh, yeah. That, would you I wipe- hold him up? I've been wiping his ass with paper towels. Wiping a cat's ass is tough. It's tough. They get mad. That's like Rocky. That's your Rocky version of like picking up the chickens, dude. You <laughs> it's tough. Cat. I got to wipe a cat's diarrhea. 
So my dogs not, don't like it. When I got to wipe my dog, my dog, when Jackson gets diarrhea, which is pretty regularly, I got to like trap him with my knees on his way in and I'll have yeah. like a wet, a warm, I warm it up at least. I got a warm, wet paper towel. I got to like dab his butthole, which Matilda makes <laughs> sore by constantly licking. So it's like his butthole is always chapped. Damn, he gets his ass eaten that often? Oh, yeah. She cleans them regularly. Yeah, it's kind of a, yeah, something to get shut. I let it go. When I'm down in the basement, I just, you know, let her have at it. But Brittany shuts it down pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Things things have been good. I'm happy. Being here has been good. Yeah. For the most part. Other than me and Phil's beef the last two days has been rough. Yeah, a little subside. Slide up some It's candy, like hard. Bush well, no, he'll, he'll Bush drink him. tonight and we'll be fine. True. George Bush, him, then, dude. Go get a cow and be like, there you yeah. go. Cheer up with a cow tail. <laughs> Those were like my least favorite things. What? I fucking hated cow tails. There was a period in my life where I couldn't stop anywhere without, you know, any like, a gas station and not grab a tail. Strawberry. Really? I'd get like a strawberry cream cow tail, dude, or just a regular little cow that tail. actually sounds pretty good. Tibble. Man, I really want to show you this cat's diarrhea, but. Can I see his ass? Yeah. Just All wait. Right, yeah, I'll go get him. Yeah, go get, the, go get that cat. Tibble. I want to see this he cat's He runs for me. He, he doesn't like me. No one really fucking likes me. <laughs> <laughs> my nephew his fucking cat go get that cat's ass let me see here he's off he ran. you're not got gonna that believe cat. this cat's ass dude let me see let me see that cat's Can't ass bite me uh, it's worth it dude <laughs> yo ew, ew, dude oh yeah, he's calling me Ow, he's calling oh me. dude that I'm was sorry, like bud. A- i'm sorry bud he clawed you, dude. You just I'm exposed sorry, him. <laughs> it's fucking diarrhea, butt, dude. It's just like a like a perfect like <laughs> circle. Yeah, his, his something's been wrong with him since he was a kitten. Like literally, he'd walk around with like half a turd hanging out. You think the original parent got to him? Uh, original, well, yeah, the original human might have like. No, because his tail's bitten off too. He got fucked up when he was a youngster, for sure. What? Yeah. Do you think it could have been a cat, like, when he was a kitten, bit its tail off, and just its paw inadvertently just <laughs> got up in his ass? <laughs> Maybe. I don't I, know. He's got I a bad your butt. Cat was, your, your cat's been penetrated. It has to have been. Why are you trying to do that? I'm not doing anything. I'm just saying. I'm looking at that kind of damage. It's the, the literal butthole. He's of got a loose star. butt. It's a, exactly. It's a butthole of a porn star, dude. <laughs> <laughs> My cat's not gay, dude. I'm not saying, I'm not saying your cat's gay. I think, I think, you know, things could have happened. <laughs> I don't think your cat yeah. was a bit. Of course, I don't now. think I don't think if if he had been penetrating his butt, his butt would still be loose. I'm saying it's more of a chronic thing. Yeah, he's got like a damn. He's got his back end is fucked. Yeah, <laughs> that looked like a portal of just shit. It was just like it's you- disgusting. It's disgusting. <laughs> and he also shits in. He shits in my sister's bathtub. He doesn't even use his kitty lit like his box. He just shits his litter box. Bath- he he shits. just shits in the bathroom. Oh, it looked like a Rick and Morty portal. I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> no, he's a horrible cat. Like every if you come here and say a word about the cat, my mom will be like, "Take him." Take yeah, him. they're I, trying to kill this cat. Throws up, right? I've seen his throw. I've seen some fucking of his throw throws up. up. He brought fleas in the house. He's fucking. He's he gets in fights with other cats. He comes back all fucking <laughs> torn up. <laughs> He brings animals to the house all the time. And animals? Yeah. He's he's totally a wild cat. That's fucking He's an awesome. outdoor cat. He's destroyed every door in this house. He rips them apart, dude. He's an apex predator. There's nothing we can do about it. He he runs the house. True. You just gotta you just gotta let him do his thing. I mean, how how old is he? Yeah, that's the other thing. He's young. He's like six. The they have gonna, an, the cat's gonna outlive my parents. It's big too though, man. Yeah, maybe maybe thankfully he's fat enough he'll die at like twelve. True. It's like but cats live, dude. Some cats live he could live till like seventeen. <laughs> he could be here till they die. <laughs> There's a good chance he outlives Phil. Damn, that would be crazy. Phil's gonna have a fucking heart attack, dude. Yeah. Yeah. This level of like the level of anger and stress he's under just from doing this is I've never seen anything like it. I mean, dude, he's got to be chapping his ass, dude. He can't go out. Like, imagine how much of his shit was, like, going out, hitting the lodge, chilling with his boys, watching sports. You take that away from a bunch of dudes, that's fucking people up, man. Yeah, and he's just trapped with his wife. Yeah, I mean, yeah. He's just like, we need a pool. They have a pool. (laughs) I'm the only one of my friends without a pool. (laughs) It's just like, Jesus Christ. (laughs) Dude, how do you feel about my lighting? Lighting looks good. 
I got the bulb. Fucking lighting, dude. Oh fuck! I'm gonna break it. <laughs> I just I just took my lamp. My lighting was so people were saying I had lighting problems. So I just took my lamp and just leaned it against my laptop. It's nice, dude. You look like Gandalf. <laughs> Follow me. All right. What are we doing, dude? <laughs> dude, we got a lot to discuss. Oh, I got one for you. What I got, you got one for you. I watched. Here's it's it's very funny that they put the movie. Have you seen the movie Contagion? No. It's really good. You should watch it. It's fucking yeah. cool. But it's about COVID. I, I mean, like, holy shit! All a, the old people are dying. <laughs> yeah, they're like, oh man, ninety thousand old people died. <laughs> ah! <laughs> what a disaster! Better lock it down, huh? <laughs> Sorry. Go Wait, ahead. how old were the victims? Usually eighty years old, <laughs> with pre-existing conditions. Oh, shut it down, the Mr. Just President! Like, <laughs> shut everything down. Lock. We can't have. We need college football this year. <laughs> shut it down. No. So where, uh, where is it? It's it's in New York. Well, it's in it's on HBO now, and I think it's like recommended on HBO right now, which is like it's just fear inducing. Yeah, it's like a movie that's like this is what not to not to be fucking conspiratorial or fucking anti left or whatever, but it's literally the left's like wet dream of what COVID could have been, yeah. <laughs> where it's just like they're digging fucking mass graves outside of cities to fill with like yeah just a worst case scenario across the board uh it's very it's a good movie though it's fucking cool and uh at the very end they show you how the disease started and it's a fucking bat in asia he's munching some food and then he flies into a fucking market or a slaughterhouse drops his food a pig eats it and then the pig gets slaughtered and that's how the what? disease started yeah uh, i mean they nailed uh... They're like it was COVID. <laughs> That's how the COVID started. Holy shit, man! Yeah, it was pretty wild. It is funny. HBO's like, check it out. Yeah, HBO's like, hey everybody, we know you're paranoid and uh, locked inside and probably scared of what's going on. Here's, you know, the scariest thing that could have happened. Yeah, here's your worst nightmare. Here's two I, hours of dude, your worst nightmare. That'd be like. <clears throat> I mean, honestly, that's like being on a plane and then being like, "All right, we're watching Final Destination." Oh yeah. It's like what. <laughs> That's, Why? Yeah, like no, turn this off. Yeah. Or yeah. watching like what was the movie with Denzel when he does coke and drives a plane? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like why are we why would we watch this? Training when he does training day too. So I'm a pilot yeah. now. Yeah, he just needs coke to be a good yeah. pilot. <laughs> it's actually fucking great. What, the movie? The movie's good, yeah. He rolled a fucking giant plane. Yeah, it's fucking he ruled. Flew it upside down because of like a rocky takeoff. Because <laughs> he was like hammered doing coke. <laughs> and they're like, no, no one else could have done this. It's like, well, he fucking did, probably didn't need to. Everyone was like, no, he had to. As I, I don't know. I don't know anything about planes, but doing a barrel roll for no reason. <laughs> Do a barrel roll, dude. <laughs> he was on coke and saw that fucking rabbit from Star Fox. Just popped in his head. It was like, <laughs> Do a barrel roll, Fox. <laughs> Dude, did you uh have you so it was funny because you're saying that and I was watch I was reading uh news whatever it was. The, the Atlantic's whole month is about conspiracy theories right now. Or they're saying like Q like Q's the big one, they're like Q's coming out and it's their their whole thesis is more or less that like Q now is it's like don't even worry about conspiracy theories. This is a religion now and it's a religion hell bent on like it'll just end up in like domestic terrorism and people killing each other and blah, 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 blah. I do agree that it probably will result in a lot of domestic terrorism. I think yeah. it will. Now that doesn't mean it won't result. Yeah. <clears throat> I think there'll be a couple incidents. But... I mean, there have, there have been, there have been guys that one, the guy, you know, and again, this is when you get in the conspiracy realm, everything, it's like kind of quicksand. So it's like, yeah, the guy who uh, attacked Comet ping pong, apparently he, yeah they according to this they came out and were like he was a good christian man who just really thought there was a bunch of kids in there and he went in there to free them and as yeah. soon as they were he opened the door and saw there's no kids he was like or i think they said there's not even a basement there he was just like i'm so sorry i i thought uh -huh. there was kids in here and i thought i had to save them you know god told me to save these kids and yeah well i guess i'll stay off the internet now and they, they kind <laughs> of they, they kind of like petition their his community came out and was like he's a good guy dude he just thought there was fucking sex slaves in a pizza place and but then there's people saying like he like you know he, he was fucking sent there blah, blah, blah. but yeah man it, it is it, 
the Atlantic thing is funny because they're just like, this is an ideology. This is a religion. This is a, this. There, there's two big things. There's that. And then there's like, don't like, we're, we're going to die. If globalization fails, we're going to die. They're like, oh, you think we're going to become self-sustained democracies? We'll die if globalization fails. And it's like, all right, I hope not. I hope this isn't, I, it's funny too. Cause I have, I'm like, all right, as long as there's, dude, I was talking, it was funny because I was talking to a guy yesterday who's like from the military travels, like he was going like Zimbabwe, all these places. He's like, dude, the fact that they try to get us fired up, like our shit's fucked up. He was like, go to a supermarket in Zimbabwe. The price of bread will double before you go check out. Like literally there's, he said there's tickets. He's like, there's tickets in there where you go and you grab a ticket. And if you get that ticket, you get the price of that time that you entered. So it's like little kids go early and pull all the tickets and sell you tickets for like a dollar. So you can get the early prices, but you can go nice. by the time you leave the price of bread is art. It's like a real time ticker on all the goods. Cause everything's inflating so high so quick. <laughs> dude, it was, the, yeah. We went yeah. To- Other countries are trash, dude. Like tra- I was even in Spain, I was like, Spain fucking stinks. <laughs> Spain stunk, and Spain's like elite. It's up there, yeah, it's up there. Spain's like Western country, and it still sucked. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure. It, it, look, it had a lot of fucking cool things going on. Sure, but if you wanted to do something, like business wise, you were fucked. Like I, I, you couldn't go to a bank. Banks would just be closed at random times. They'd There's just like be like, that. "Yeah, we're fucking, we're closed at three today." <laughs> like, why go nine to five just be nine to five they yeah, couldn't pick, pick they it, literally pick. couldn't dude th- this dude was saying it, it, this was the guy we're, we're booking uh there was a candy shop there was nice things all right yeah, in my yeah. town there was like it was like living in a different time like, yeah. they're like go down and get go to the soda fountain oh it's awesome. get some there's a soda store you can get a coke <laughs> like all that shit that's pretty, pretty tight yeah, yeah, I mean, that, that stuff is cool. It is It is funny, though, for people to stoke people in it, like, dude, we're fucked. We're going to die. It's like, dude, even if we – when even when we crash out, yeah, it sucks big time, but it's like, again, you know, we'll be fine. Everyone will be okay. It's just, you know, it's fucking – it blows. But he was saying that – so, again, he was in Zimbabwe. I'm sorry to I keep cutting you off. Ahead, please. I'm literally looking at, like, there's – I'm on a Mac computer. There's a flat screen just on the floor over here. There's <laughs> – we're fine. <laughs> Our country's fine. Yeah. And my family's not like killing it, but we're fine. Yeah, we have too much shit. We could use a little Zimbabwe. Use a little bit. You can, bread could bread can touch a Zimbabwe. Well, it's funny too because gas just dropped. It's like all right, sweet. Gas was, dude. It's I was driving. I fill up my tank. I would fill up the tank for like ten bucks. Yeah, That's dude. Crazy. That drive was nuts. Yeah, I yeah. We'll say. Right, I mean, sorry, I was, Zimbabwe. Sorry. Oh, well, this guy was saying he so he's talking about that, and he was like, "Yeah, dude, there's just shit like you don't even think like." So he said he was supposed to take, I think, like a train or something, and the train got canceled, and they were like, or the flight, something got canceled, and the guy was like, "Well, we'll drive. How far?" He's like, "How far can it be?" The guy's like, "Dude, you don't want to drive." And he was like, "Well, fucking drive. It's, it's this. It's X amount of miles. You know, how long is it gonna take to get there?" And the guy was like, "16 hours." And he was like, "What the fuck? Why?" Because it should have only been like a three, four hour drive. And he was like, the roads are very bad. And it was basically saying like, you know, they have like this old school land cruiser. The roads are, there's parts of the roads that are so muddy that you'll just pull up and there's just like nine other cars stuck in the mud. You have (laughs) no other option and then drive through it. So he's like, what people have to do is pop, you have to get out, pop your pants off. Because you don't want to mess up all your slacks because you're like very much in mud, like pushing. And he's like, there's parts of it where it's like up to your knees. So he's like, Take your slacks off. He's like, dude, now imagine this. He's like, you know, I'm a white guy. I'm in Zimbabwe. Slacks are off. I'm pushing my cars next to a bunch of other dudes from Africa. He's like, bro, I felt emasculated, dude. You just of like just floppage. Basically, he's basically describing like bird floppage, bird profile. Oh, boxers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably a lot of dudes with no boxers, just dong everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, dude. So Seeing the like, dong move through like the curtains backstage. <laughs> yeah, dude. He was like just a big a, guy. <laughs> it looks like somebody it, when dudes with huge dicks are just in their underwear and they're like walking it looks like somebody that can't figure out where the opening to a curtain is and it's just like <laughs> it's like you trap your dog under a blanket and he's just like, <laughs> he said he was like bro it was awake it was funny dude because this is this is like me him my wife and my mother-in-law he's just telling the story about how he was in africa and everyone's dog was huge and he was embarrassed <laughs> <laughs> that's funny it was hilarious dude who he's was this guy the uh, the dude who was like we're going to get we're we're going to rent the the one the place we're going to use the armory so we're like oh nice it, it's, i mean it's the first troop don't get me started on the first troop bro 
That oh, shit is nice. so fucking – he was showing us all the shit there. I didn't – so apparently there was a troop in Philadelphia that predates the country, if that makes sense. The colonies or the American colonies as like an independent American state. Yeah, there was a bunch of those. In 17 – but these were the first one. This is the first one, yeah. the first troop. They, they literally – they were being employed by the king. And, dude, imagine the fucking balls it took to just be like – fuck those guys to take somebody uh, the king back then's flag and a draw on it and be like nah dude this is our country now fuck you yeah that's fucking nuts i was Bro. like thinking about that like that's fucking animal shit dude. you're gonna get me fired up dude i've been i've been working on my actual the new hardcore history dude what you got what you working on We're, uh, i don't know how much i want to yeah i'll give it away fuck it there's a guy oh. named uh robert rogers yeah you want to talk about a dog dude what time okay. period this is birth of birth of America. Oh, God. he was. I mean, French and Indian War. He was he was serving the crown during the French and Indian War. Mm-hmm. Just fucking beast. But it was the the first couple chapters are just about like America uh, back then, and it's dude. When you think about, I know this is like a this is like a stoner thought about like history, but like how recent? Like you were talking about those roads in yeah. Zimbabwe. Like, dude, our country people were not here and we have like the, the amount of infrastructure and all the shit we've done to this huge continent is fucking insane in the amount of time we've done it. Like it's, it's crazy. Yeah. Dude. Also, like if you think about like, as long as you've been alive from like, this is how like quickly history goes. It's like from your birth until right now was basically the same distance as your birth to world war two. What do you, you mean? know what I mean? Um, all right. So like from right now to 1980 mm-hmm. is the same amount of time as from 1980 to world war two. Oh, like it's okay. very, it's, it's very, it's a lot shorter than you fucking think. So when you think back saying. to like, yes. Yeah, so when you think back to like, you know, 1750, it's really not that long ago. It's, no. it's very weird. It's very weird to think how far we've come. Dude, they were uh, they, he was that's, showing us, that's history, guys. He was showing us pictures of when in Philadelphia when this thing was started. It was just like this big castle, and then there was just land everywhere that went all the way to the Delaware River. And it was just like he was showing us pictures. I was like, what the fuck, dude? Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, there it's, was in that Thomas Marr book. There was like maps of New York from back then. Mm-hmm. It was just like north of 50th Street was just farm. Yeah, in 1860. God, that must have been sick. Imagine getting pussy back then. Put that would have been terrible. Getting pussy back then? It was probably awesome. What are you talking about? I mean, it's still fucking great, but it was definitely like <laughs> disgusting. I don't know, man. I, I mean, I guess, you know, I, I'm not going to compare myself to somebody living in like the 1700s in New York, but like, just, and it's funny, the reason I'm even comparing no it. No air was, conditioning. No air conditioning. Rarely showered. No porn. Full bush. No porn. No porn. Yeah. No, don't get me wrong. It's going to feel good, and you're probably used to horrible smells, but yeah. the ladies' parts are going to be toxic well back then you just and like, your dong is gonna dude it must have stunk so <laughs> fucking bad <laughs> they weren't like 69 in back then dude you were just like on no, a haystack it, with your eyes closed even if you're <laughs> fucking dude think if somebody was hitting it from behind the smell <laughs> just the butthole opening up there's no toilet paper everybody's walking around like tibble my cat just <laughs> shit <laughs> no dude boning back then was that's why people were so religious there was nobody out there like fucking to fuck. You well, were fucking to procreate. No, it was a problem. People would fucking be like, oh, that was <laughs> horrible. It was our, people would fucking be like, no, religion makes sense. That was horrible. Like, that was a horrifying. Yeah, that was a d- terrible deed we just committed. <laughs> yeah, you're going to love this. No, oh, all right, here. Let me, uh, this is funny to wrap up Thomas Marr. Maybe I yeah. should just wrap it up. Dude, nothing happens. That's it. It's the end. No, some dude sent us a, a <laughs> Yeah, I got it. I got scroll. it. Yeah, I, it was all stuff I knew and left out for the most part. It was really? like he, yeah, after the Civil War, he just kind of went to fucking Montana. That's that's chill. So he, he was just Kanye. He just went to like. He kanye out, yeah. He just got a big ass plot of land and just yeah. drove around. Thomas Moore, yeah. But uh, the new one's going to be. I'm I'll excited. finish. I'll, I'll, next, the first hardcore history I'll do again, I'll finish Moore and go into this guy. That's what I'm, I'm liking that. It's good. The, I mean, just thinking about North America from like, from back then, I mean, it's, it's just crazy. Like they had no idea. They had no idea what the fuck was out here. Thomas Jefferson warned Lewis and Clark about like giant sloths 
when yeah, they moved west. You told, you told me about that, like he dinosaurs, like, basically. He was like, be ready. There's some shit out there. We're not sure. <laughs> and, dude, how scary. They were so scared of Indians back then. Indians are the scariest people fucking ever. Be terrifying, dude. There's no roads. You're just in the woods, and you hear, you see, like, fires and people screaming and dancing. They, they like, all likened it to actual hell. They're like, North America is the devil's. That's why there's things like Vich, the yeah, Vich. Yeah. Like, everybody was afraid of, like, they thought the devil lived in the woods in North America. I mean, dude, also, those dudes in the Indi- those Indian dudes were, like, uh, as good at being in the woods as you could possibly get. So, you're in the woods, yeah. and there's dudes who've just been training in the woods all, all – who just do crazy shit that you're just like, what the fuck's going on? Yeah, and it's – and, I mean, these people have never seen the wilderness. They're all from Europe. Europe hasn't, hasn't had – true wilderness since like 1400 there's no animals in europe that can like eat you yeah and then all of a sudden they get here and it's like there was it was funny one guy was talking about rattlesnakes they never had rattlesnakes so that was new (laughs) all of a sudden there's fucking rattlesnakes in new england and they're like these are different snakes like they don't run from you these snakes actually like attack you (laughs) rattlesnakes are coming at them (laughs) And then they like basically everybody there died. Eventually, you got scalped. Yeah, like eventually you were like killing and skinning animals. You're killing and fucking eating everything, and then you got fucking killed or eaten. That's how everybody died. Oh, it's just a fucking or just sucks. a horrible disease. But yeah, for the most part, everybody got murdered <laughs> in pre-colonial United States. Everyone got murdered. That's so fucking funny, man. Just hit with a musket. <laughs> oh yeah just shot and bruised and like fuck ow. yeah that's that's how you rogers die, you die of a cold you get shot by a yeah, you get shot and die it of a hurt. <laughs> yeah rogers dad got shot because his friend thought he was a bear rogers dad was coming back into a camp and his friend fucking blasted him <laughs> and his mom rogers mom got tracked by a hunter for like three days because he thought she was a wolf <laughs> <laughs> I mean the stories are fucking nuts. I'm excited I'm excited for that. I yeah, uh it's awesome. I still swear by it, dude, and it's like so I, I've been you know, for the I've been off porn. I've been actually doing a thing where I've been trying to use my rooms. I've been doing it successfully. I've been using my rooms in my house intentionally for their stated purpose. So like bedroom, hit the knees, pray, sleep, have sex. That's it. I don't do anything else in my bedroom besides those three things. Yeah. I use my living room family time hang out with family I, i've been using like you know in the old school like roman times like there was a gymnasium and a bunch of dudes would be in there like yeah Ugh! i just use rooms now for their stated purpose rather otherwise i'm just on my phone everywhere throughout my house just in the yeah bed, like, uh, uh, in bed like uh. it's like i do very specific things and if i'm in a room if i'm in the kitchen i'm eating i'm using the kitchen for its intended purpose dude it's pretty fucking sick pretty nice tight, dude. it's tight and again I, I just it's just tight to use uh my basement's my business zone, so I'm, I'm on my phone. I'm doing emails and stuff down here. I don't do any of that out throughout my house, but I've been off the porn big time. So really? it's like, dude, I've been on a once a week. Basically, I'm on like a once a week schedule where I'm getting to crack one good one off a week. You know, that's nice. IRL, dude. It's it's like uh, that's why I'm like, dude, send me back to the fucking back to the, like the 1500s when you just had one in you. Like you get caught, they probably like kill you. So you just had to wait and you got to get that thing out. And it, it must have been like relig- a religious experience. I had, so I somehow, last night, I, I had like saliva come into my nose of like, I was just like <laughs> so hard and making such re- ridiculous noises that my nose got filled with saliva. And I was like, <laughs> I got like, it was, it was, it was fantastic. A fucking pig, dude. I like trashed my, I came, I came so hard, I trashed my sinuses, dude. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> <laughs> this fluid just Ew. froze up. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, man, if you cut out the porn, it's like, it's unbelievable what happens. Damn. I mean, if you, again, if you're not, you know, if you're not living with the bay, your sinuses, dude. Keep, keep the, it's only, I think you have it, dude. You have the Comrona virus. You think I have Comrona? Yeah, you got Comrona, <laughs> dude. <laughs> <laughs> I think if you're living with Bay, that's the key. Turn off the porn, dude. Turn off the porn, and I, I've said this before, but it's like yeah. you turn the porn off, and it, now you're at a one to one. It's like, look, I need to crack one off. How can we work together so we can get along well enough to where? Yeah, you just got to listen to it. You have to have so much come in you that you're willing to listen to a story. Yes, that's the thing. Because I if I lived with I lived with Bay once and didn't stop my porn intake for the most part. Yeah, 
I didn't have seed in me enough to listen to stories. Exactly. I would hear a bad story and just tune out and be like, sometimes I get angry. I'd be like, why would you ever say that to me? <laughs> She's like, I was just telling you about a new coffee shop. I'm like, well, why would I give a fuck about that? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I walked in. I'll go back to the comment. Uh, sure. Walked into the coffee shop, the pedophile coffee shop by my house today. You, oh, you went back there? There was a prayer circle. The staff was doing their, I guess, morning prayer circle when I walked in. I had to stand quietly while the staff, in a, holding hands in a circle, prayed. God, that's awesome. Dude, I had to stand in line and just sit there like, nice, you idiots. You fucking idiots. <laughs> so they were, they were praying in there. They had a prayer circle, yeah, before work. They were like, help us have a good day. I'm not – come on, dude. I'm not going to name the place. We'll have a pizza gate on our hands. One of the boys will roll in with an AR and be like, get the kids out of the face. I'm going to roll in and join the circle. Prayer circle was nice, yeah. Uh, Let us – God, dear God, please bless these beans. We're about to roast up. Bless these motherfucking beans, Lord. Would you please bless (laughs) the beans? (laughs) I've I've come across – like I've been in, like, Target when they're having their, like, thing, and they're like, all right, let's get it. And you walk in, you, like, see them, like, yeah. And you're, like, grabbing, like, cough drops. And I'm just like, all right. Yeah, I've, there's a video online of the the Walmart employees before they go out singing We Will Rock You, and the whole staff is in a circle around the manager and they're doing the stomp, stomp, clap. Fuck. Pretty sick. Awesome. Pretty sick. That's funny them doing it. It's funny thinking of them going and doing that, and then they just, like, go outside and, like, push a box of underwear over and, like, oh, it's not my fucking job. I'm not picking it. <laughs> 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 they just leave a box of underwear in the middle of the food section. And like, <laughs> I'm on break. I've gone oh, to the man. electronics section of Walmart in Philly. And waited 30 minutes. And while someone sat at the thing was like, yeah, the other guy's on break. He has the keys. I was just like, can you get him? He's like, no. Nah. That is, dude, that's war. That's Call of Duty Warzone. Dude, it's insane. Fucking Walmart, Columbus Ave? Yeah. There's just dudes. They'll just, that's that's the, the same way like the Puritans looked at the woods in North America is how <laughs> I view Columbus Ave, Walmart. I'm just like, dude, that's actual hell. Dude, there's just guys. Go in there. They did whatever the, the things are called, the, the jacks where you, you jack it up with the uh, I can't pallet jacks. There's just yeah. pallet jacks where they just get abandoned and the shit just falls off. Yeah, yeah. And there's like there's ten of them, and you're like, what the? They're fuck? in every aisle, every single aisle <laughs> in that store. There's always one just giant roadblock. It's like, <laughs> it's like a flipped over shopping cart. It's like the yeah. it's like I am legend. There's like a flipped over shopping cart. <laughs> it really there, is. There really there is. There's there's a pallet jack abandoned in every single aisle. And then there'll be a guy. You'll see see a guy like pick a box up and throw it every now and again, and just leave. That has to that has to be the worst Walmart in America. It's up there. It's got to be up. It's got to be. It's got to be, dude. Top. It has to be top five. Columbus have Walmart in Philly. Has to be top five. I would say actually, because I've been to quite a few, and it's weird too, because you can go to a Walmart up on uh, up in the Northeast, immaculate. There was one near my parents. It's not bad. The freak factor near my parents' house is there's a heavy freak factor, dude. Yeah, there's a freak factor. The the one here is in a nice location, but the freak factor is pretty intense. It's all <laughs> it's all fat white people in like eight X shirts. For some reason, fat ladies wear these. I've never seen they all look like grimace. <laughs> they all wear these fucking shirts. They're usually like landscaping colors. You know what I mean? They're always like neon yellow and yeah. just giant. You got to be high vis if you're that big, though. And Crocs, if you're that big, you the last thing you need is high vis. <laughs> you need the high vis so you don't get like bumped into it. <laughs> suns, dude. <laughs> the stars, dude. Orbiting. Yeah, I, I just don't know. And again, I, I know I sound so snobbish. When I go into a Walmart, I'm just kind of like, what the fuck? What what is this? What are we doing here, guys? <laughs> there's there. I'm telling you, there's people who are. I think besieged by just like, you know, if you wake up every day and you're just like, you watch TV, you see a commercial or like cookie crisp, that sounds good. Let me have some of that. And you just, just well, now you mention it for real cookie crisp sounds good as fuck. (laughs) (laughs) I actually might go get some cookie crisp. I mean, dude, it's, you can get yourself trapped into a level of like, uh, dumb and fat that like is intergenerational like in pot that'll just trap your family for generations. And it's like, it sounds mean, but it's like, if you were the, to stop that, it's 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 the perfect intersection of dumb and fat. Where you go to a Walmart and someone's very dumb and very fat, and it's just a self-repeating cycle. Where it's like, 
I don't, so I don't think I was eating carbs. And it's like, dude, Cheetos are carbs. And you're like, fuck, dude. What? What the fuck? I thought sugar was carbs. It's like, no, dude, anything that's like carbs. <laughs> what? Fuck. Well, I don't think those – I swear to God, there's no chance those people are even remotely discussing sugar or carbs. True. They're walking around with 32-ounce fucking Mountain Dews nonstop, <laughs> and their shirts match the Mountain Dew. <laughs> That's the color they're always dressed in. It's that with, like, disgusting fucking, like, tight yoga pants. Yeah. Not yoga pants. What are those called? Just – spandex kind yeah, of like, yeah like joggers. usually like spongebob spandex and crocs and they're see-through they're stretched so and far so like well, there's your underwear yeah it's it's you know that's got to be a fucking I, I can't figure out if that's actually a good life that's I've what wondered, i'm trying to figure out yeah i've wondered about it man i, I think there is something kind of nice about it it's almost like a religious experience just to like go to walmart load up on like just like jumbo size boxes of cheetos and Tons of tubs of ice cream. Just only drink soda. Just watch American Idol and be like, oh, man, this guy's, this kid's got a chance. And sit at this home. guy sucks. <laughs> I, I feel like if you were to fully give yourself over to, like, cable TV, sugar, and alcohol, you'd have a nice run. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's definitely it's like a – It's a rough – it is a crash landing. It's, it's a, a like a foot, a foot comes off. Literally. Yeah, an oxygen tank is installed – yeah dude it's this bad ending but that run before it ends that's got a rule being like totally obese just sitting there watching shit just munching anything you feel like just watching the biggest non-stop yeah, and just having fun. zero awareness of being like this like yeah. this rules <laughs> you know? I mean, like, dude, I'm like, you, there, it, i think it's awareness thing i think there's people who that that's like like when I, I remember, so I have, you know, I have a bunch of stupid food allergies. I, my family made fun of me. My family's like, what are you eating? Why are you doing this? Uh, the, the, the. There's got to be levels of it where if you don't drink like three Mountain Dews with dinner, people are like, what you think you're go? better than me? What, <laughs> what, what are you drinking? What is that? True. Diet they Coke, probably, dude? they probably can't drink water. I mean, they do need bottles, but. What do you mean when they say bottles? Like they need like a drink? Any it has to be out of no. like a twenty ounce bottle? <laughs> no, they need bottled water. <laughs> Most of these people are from fracking fucking True. towns. True. <laughs> Water's flammable. <laughs> <laughs> but look, I'm not the fittest guy in the world, but uh, I have been hitting the Peloton. Ooh. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, that's that's what's up, man. I've, I've been running that? 0.4 miles every three days too. So what Let's do you go. think about me hitting the Peloton, dude? I like you get to talk. Can you talk to people on there? No, thank God, because be I would so definitely fun. be talking shit. That'd be so fun. Yeah, why don't I bet have... you can send messages? I well, that's why they don't, because people would just immediately ruin Peloton. <laughs> you'd be riding, you'd be like point three miles, someone's like fag, and you'd be like, "What the fuck? <laughs> fuck! I'll show you a fag is." <laughs> they should have it like that, where it's just like a thing, almost like Zoom on your screen, where you can hook up like Zoom to a. Peloton. I wonder if I wonder if you can. I think if you do like a live meeting, you might be able to. I mean, yeah, you just bring an iPad to on a Peloton, you know, or bring an iPad to the gym, and you can just compete with your friends. Yeah, or bring your friends to the gym. True. I guess you could just be a normal person and hang out. In real you life. just fight your friends. True. We wrestle. <laughs> <laughs> we should wrestle and let it yeah. serious. Look, dude, things are turning around. Now that I'm home, things are turning around. I'm on the yeah. straight. I haven't really drank, and I think I had three beers here the other day when we did the the thing that's about it and then uh yeah i haven't oh. drank in like may dude i just forgot all Crazy. about that that's that's great actually the whole month of may yeah how you feel what's the difference i mean i wake up before 10 that's nice yeah you've, really been, you've been an early bird actually yeah go to bed early well it's just because i'm not doing stand-up so True. i can go to bed at like midnight or one yeah how's that's that early. feel of waking up in the morning. What do, what do you? What's your first thoughts? I like you waking up, up in the morning. morning. Wake up. Go get. Go to the Christian coffee shop. It's <laughs> it's only open three days a week. So I I I haven't remembered the schedule until recently. It took yeah. about two weeks for me to get the schedule down. I go every day. <laughs> Four days a week, it's closed. <laughs> That'd be sick if you're living a double life where you went there and you're like, God bless you, everybody. I love you, Jesus, in Jesus' name. Well, the lady asked me today. She was like, "What are you? What are you doing today?" And I was like, uh, I have a podcast. And she was like, oh, what is it? And I was like, it was right after a prayer circle. I was like, you can't listen to this podcast. You're going to hate this podcast. What'd she say? She was like, oh, I don't know. Comedy comes in all shapes and sizes. And I was like, you're going to, you would fucking hate. And the, also the thing is the girl was like my age. Like these, these are 
fucking religious people, dude. It's a good girl, dude. These are good bays, but also lunatics. Like they talk like they're sweet ladies from the fucking seventies, like old ladies. So you're talking, you can get into some like 1950s household role play. A hundred percent. One hundred percent. You could find these, these girls would be like, I'll make you dinner every single day. I mean, that's what my ex was. My ex was so subservient that I had a life of like, I would play video games and she would make me dinner. I was full tendied. <laughs> I was fucking full hot, tendies, dude. dude. That's she fucking... was make dinner. I'd be like, I'm not done yet. <laughs> Pause the game. <laughs> eat like a chicken and rice, like casserole, and then go back to the game. <laughs> I'm in a live battle. I can't pause. It's live. <laughs> I'm playing Dylan. <laughs> oh my god, dude, that's so fucking funny. Did you? Uh, yeah. I'm not used to these city girls. These yeah, floozies. fast tails. Speaking of floozies, my 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 angels surprised me again, dude. Oh, <gasps> my two angels blessed me. You got a visit? I had a visit from the angels. No, it was nice. It was great. It was a great visit. The angels blessed me again. What a great blessing. <laughs> I told you, like you were telling me about that. And I was like, I felt the, the urge in my body was to go like, just run. Like gump. I just want oh, to gump out and just run. Imagine this. Now look, my sister, if you're listening to this, stop. True. All right. My Fast forward 30 dude. seconds. Your sisters. Dude, stop. You. I don't want you to hear me <laughs> like this. We, we are going to date someday. True. Um, do they listen? Your sisters? No, I don't think so. All right, good. Um, but my sister does, and she knew about my angels visiting me. What did she and say? When, when I came into the house, she was like, you got anything to say? And I was ah. like, no. I had no idea what she was talking about. Uh, and then she brought it up at some point, yeah. She checked you. How would you feel about that? Not great. Why? My it's your sister, body. It's your body, sister, your life. It is my body, my choice, and I don't need <laughs> My older sister ragging on me for jerking off on Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> FaceTime jerks at my parents' house. <laughs> but, yeah, dude. And then it's, it was a sneak attack. It was a surprise visit. Ooh. I was just sitting there watching TV with Phil. Got a fucking FaceTime notification. I was like, I think I'm going to shower. Oh, I'm, I'm on that seventh grade tip. Of like, <laughs> <laughs> you got to sneak off to jerk off. <laughs> I'm yeah. terrified. I'm terrified to jerk off in my house anymore because it's like we've been live streaming so much and there's something like I, my basement's out of the question. Oh, dude. yeah, true. The cameras are on, dude. I'm terrified, dude. I don't know what's recording when. I, I don't. So there's been times oh. where people are like, yo, the live stream's still on. I'm like, I don't know how to shut it off. So, like, I just act as if I'm on camera. I'm living in a sick and twisted It is world, amazing but- that you, how, and I don't mean to shit on you here. Please. How, like, of the two of us, you're the tech guy. Yeah. It's just out of laziness on my part. Like, you suck at tech, and I'm just like, nah, he's doing pretty good. <laughs> I really am not a tech guy. Just, no, either am I, really, but I, I, I do like hearing you use tech words. That makes me laugh. Well, dude, I tell you with the, uh, the studio, I want to figure yeah. out. Remember, I, I got to take it back. I, I got to take back what I said about Deeds is turd. Remember, I was like, we found Deeds left a turd on the floor. Deeds left we, a dirty turd, dude. He didn't, dude. Deeds was Deeds, right. Deeds was right. We can use that thing. There's no problem with the switcher he told us to use. We can use yeah. that. The problem was the reason I was like, yeah, I got to figure out why the cameras aren't working. I bumped into Deeds randomly. I was walking Deeds and Lemare, walking my dogs. They pop out of nowhere. What a great squad, dude. Deeds and Lemare is a good uh, squad. It was the best, dude. I, yeah. I walk into them and I'm like, oh, what, the, what are you guys up to? And it was funny too because there's a line of people waiting to <laughs> use the waiting to use the post office. So they just see us see each other and they, it, you could oh what what happened? Time out. Nothing, nothing. We're good. Okay. I thought you. I thought Wait. everything fa- I thought. I thought everything Fuck failed. Soccer. What happened? Uh, we good. Okay. Cool. I almost. If I hit Alt R, I can pause the recording. But you know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're so <laughs> eager to be a good tech guy. <laughs> so I see them, and I'm like, "Holy fuck!" There's D, and I'm I'm telling them, "I'm like, hey, turns out that thing you said we could use that I kind of shit on you about. My bad. Turns out you were right. Deeds like." Your turd, your turd's been just your turd's disappeared. So yeah, but me and O'Connor were there, and the cameras when we were at the new. His turd was basically it's like when a dog shits in a house and then eats it. (laughs) And you're like, well, I'm not even mad at you. Good job. (laughs) I don't have to clean it. 
Well, the cameras, I was like, yeah, the only problem now is the cameras just kind of recycle and turn on and off and on when I was trying to run the program. And he was like, well, did you hit record? And I was like, fuck you, Deeds. What do you think? You're a tech wizard? We just didn't hit record. So Connor left the turd on the ground. Oh, Connor's the turd. I thought it was though Deeds' turd. No, O'Connor's fine too. But the me and O'Connor were there and neither of us thought to hit record on the cameras to trigger the recording software on the switcher. And it was just like, God, I'm such a fucking helpless. I put my best foot forward, dude. I went, it was I funny too, because I was like, fucking Dorian told me. And in my head, I'm like, eh, you probably should have done a little research. I'm like, just shut up. Nah. But it's yeah, like, I was, that phone call where you were talking about buying a new switcher. Oh I was, look, I'm, I'm being honest. I was wrong to feel this way, but like, I just woke up and I was just mad. <laughs> so like, you were just talking to me about buying a new switcher. And I was just like, <laughs> I was in bed. Like, he doesn't know shit. Like, I was just so mad, dude. And, then, like, I was, like, I went for, like, a walk. And I was, like, what the fuck am I talking about? Like, I was, like, dude, I was literally laying in bed, like, this fucking guy. <laughs> I have Phil. I have Phil in me, big time. Well, I'm glad you actually just, gave me some uh, upset. I needed that resistance because I was, like, all right, let me, let me at least try to figure out how this other thing works. And I called the guy and he just explained it immediately. And I was like, thank God Shane talked me out of buying that new switcher. That would have been a very bad financial mistake. You can buy whatever. Just don't tell me. No, no. <laughs> just don't tell me. Just take it out of the fucking page. No way. I'm, gl- I'm glad, you know, that was, that would have been, I mean, I was like, why would I need this bigger one? He's like, well, if you want to run like eight cameras, I'm like, oh no, no, I don't need that. that no, been, if we had that. That would have been very noticeable that we didn't need that. <laughs> it would have been very, <laughs> it's a shame to pick up on that very quickly. <laughs> Dude, the uh, but yeah, so that's we're we're very close, dude. I think I think next week we'll be in, dude. I really really do. tomorrow I'm gonna go over there, hook up the cameras, hook up to the switcher, set dude, it up. The new studio is gonna be, oh, bro. It's gonna be so fucking litty. It's gonna be unbelievable. It, if yeah, this either. motherfucker is coming down here again, big Phil, please. I, there, I, there actually might be a fist fight. I'll turn I, the camera around so you can see us. Please do spear him. Is he down? No, he's not. Drive. If I spear him, I'll kill him. It sucked. I, I grabbed his arm to, like, push him the other day, and he, like, <laughs> he did that old man thing where they try to, like, plant their feet and not move. But then once I got him moving, his feet didn't catch up. Uh, like, I, he had his arm, like, hooked, and I just grabbed it, like, pulled him as hard as I could. And he, like, stumbled forward, and I was like, oh. Oh, it's kind of sad, actually. I'm sorry. pissed off, dude, doing the fucking. Look, I have the beep. The beep is what started this. Well, beeping at him when he was mowing the lawn and scaring him <laughs> has started this whole thing. He's never backed down from being like, all right, maybe I overreacted there. Yeah. Start on the geezer is embarrassing, dude. That'll piss him off. He spats, dude. He like got in my face in the garage. Like me and him were face to face in the garage. And he was <laughs> like, you want to fucking, you want to be a punk? You want to be a punk like that? <laughs> I was like, dad, you're being a pussy right now. Oh my god, dude, that's so funny. There's another thing. I haven't I haven't, you know, I haven't been around people and like normal people in a long time. Like I've just been around me and my friends. So this is how I talk. Yeah. You know, I haven't been in like a relationship. Like I haven't so like I'll talk to my dad. I'll be like, fuck you, dude. <laughs> and he's like, What'd you sure good say? <laughs> like I can't not talk that way. Like after I scared him, I was like, You're being a like, dude, I called him a faggot. I called him a faggot, and he – I was like, all right, I apologize. I shouldn't have said that. True. That was like a fight, though. That, dude, that's, of course that's a fucking fight. Yeah, I called him that. I was like, you're being a – about yeah. this. And, uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I actually – like 10 seconds passed, and I was like, I'm sorry I called you that. Oh, my God. That was the wrong thing to say, but you're being a pussy. Well, I should have called you a pussy. I apologize. Yeah, I was like, I should have called you a pussy to your face, not that. <laughs> what did he say? He's like, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> While he's looking at his fucking Madden game on. Oh, dude. It's not good. We'll be, we'll be all right. In fact, I'm going to regret trashing the old man on the next cast. He's a good boy. He's, he's a good a, geese. He's a great he's just boy. just fired dude. up. Yeah, he's, I love him. I look up to him. I think he's hilarious. Oh, yeah. I'd like, to, I'd, like to keep, I'd like to have his personality when I was older. But you need that. he is being a fucking total dickhead right now. You got to get out there. You got to get a shovel and put the gloves on. Start doing some landscaping, dude. I got to go ride Peloton after this, dude. True. I got to drive over to my sister's and hit the fucking bike. <laughs> my fucking grundle and butt is destroyed from this thing. Yeah, that'll fucking crush it's, it's It's a hard seat, dude. It'll desensitize. The fucking bike seat is hard. It, it feels better today. Wait, what? 
it'll if you they say if you ride bikes all the time it can like desensitize your boner temporarily no big deal they're saying like because the um the blood fl- like kind of cuts blood flow off in a way where they said that can over time dudes who ride like 50 miles constantly you're not you're, you know you're not gonna run no it. no i got different do reasons to be... yeah do routine self-exams you'll be fine i got different reasons to be worried about like blood flow and shit than the one workout i do yeah no you're fine this is like guys who ride bikes for like lounging i think it's more women too if women ride bikes hard i think it does something like it can decrease their sex drive but it's like you know miles and miles and miles it's just yeah i'm not close to that it's fun though it's just me i i go with i go with hip-hop every time yeah this is this black dude's fucking hyped the whole time that's tight it's fun he's like i believe in you He's yelling that at me. I'm like, I fucking believe in me. Can you see the the people that you're like competing against? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see what 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 numbers they're putting out, and I I try to beat it. I beat Katie's my sister's records. Hell yeah! First two days, I beat her twenty and thirty minute. Today, I'm gonna beat her forty minute record. How's Meanie? Is he is he on the board? I haven't checked Meanie's. Meanie's uh, Meanie has he works at a dealership, yeah. so Meanie's is on that car dealer life, which is. 12 hours a day and then yeah. you come home and go to sleep yeah you, hit the, you don't hit the peloton that hard that's another thing you're dealing with when you're buying a car you're dealing with a dude whose life is entirely selling cars yeah why do they gotta work oh, i guess that makes sense they gotta just be so, there. their hours are ridiculous yeah well here's why it's usually because and no offense to meanie and no, you know i worked i sold cars but it's it's typically guys that either didn't graduate college or didn't they don't have the qualifications to be making the money that they make selling cars yeah so then it's kind of like well i can tell you whatever i want like i can tell you to work 12 hours a day fucking six days a week yeah because they can make bank and they usually do because they are making bank and the longer they stay working the more they bank that's pretty tight yeah what are we at time wise we're, we're uh, good right? yeah we're, we're pretty good i i did want to uh yeah we yeah there's there's one thing that I was actually I thought you'd be stoked on. I thought about it while you're talking about like just different people fighting in like the beginning of the century. Have you fucked with the uh it's called like the Sino Indian border dispute? It's no, like what's Chinese, that about? it's like the China Indian border dispute. No. Fuck, dude. It's the funniest fucking thing. So apparently uh the Chinese government and the Indian government are beefing over certain stretches where their borders stuff or the borders yeah, touch. Like Nepal and all that shit. Yeah, and they've been advised now not to use weapons. They had like a council, like we don't use weapons at each other, but like there'll just be a Chinese troop on the border and an Indian troop and they go yeah. full outsiders like rumblefish, where they just they do fisticuffs. They'll see each other and like throw rocks at each other and fist fight and then it just breaks up and they it's like a constant thing that keeps happening. Wow. There's if you there's just be like guys throwing rocks and like spitting on each other. <laughs> if you're on the Indian Chinese border, there's just troops that fist fight and like throw shit at each other all day. That's it's, awesome. It's not a war, it's just them. They're just dispute. They'll be like, "Nah, we're patrolling. This is our shit." And they're like, "Fuck you, dude. This is China." And they're like, "No, nah, this is India. You fucking dick." And then they'll just fist fight. Fist fight. Fist fight. Rocks. It's so they'll rock. It's like a bunch you of think the Chinese would be rocking them? I mean, they're fist fighting though, dude. They they made. A I thing know, and the Indians with... deceptively have jacked bros. Yeah, dude. I I've saw seen it. Track. Watch Extraction. Have you ever seen it? True. Huge. You love Extraction. <laughs> Watch Contagion. Tell Did me you what you think. Him? Watch Contagion. No, there's no jack dudes. It's just they're just fear mongering on HBO for COVID. No, oh, it's fucking horrible. It's wild. But you ever see the Indian uh, Pakistan border? What they do? Well, no. They like have a dance off every day. Stop. They have a legit like mil- troop dance off, like where they see who marches the hardest, who screams loud. They're like, hit, hit, hit. <laughs> like screaming at each other. <laughs> fucking awesome. And they're, yeah, but dude. they like they really peacock out. They're wearing like feathers in their hats oh, and fucking my. strutting like they goose step. It's fucking wild. What? Yeah, watch dude, it. They're like, I'll watch so- that. I want to see the Chinese and Indians dude just throw rocks and fist fight. Dude, it's called the, it's S I N O. Indian, it's a Sino Indian. I don't know why they call Chinese Sino. I don't, I don't know what that's about. Yeah, but it's, it's a Sino Indian border conflict. It's so yeah. fucking funny of dudes just like throwing shit at each other. It's just like a like a fourth grade. You like see the other fourth graders and like throw rocks at them. And I bet them. that's the Indians probably are good there because they like cricket. True. So they, oh no, the Chinese don't play baseball. Really? Yeah, but they can definitely probably hit you with like a little like a smooth small. If stone. they like, yeah. 
it's got to be wicked, dude. If just like a whistler, dude, imagine just being like a troop and walking up and just like you say you're an Indian dude and you just you see like ten Chinese guys and you just fucking just go up and you're like pow, fuck you guys. They just wall, they just wall barge them. There's a bunch True. of there's a bunch of Indians Indian wall barge. They just wall barge Chinese dudes. They just wall <laughs> and again, you know, if you get a bunch of you get a bunch of the partners up on you, the boy that would fucking suck, dude. A swarm of partners. Swarm of partner swarm, dude, coming down on dude, you. Dude, a partner swarm has been very effective <laughs> in history. Partner swarms in Vietnam, they would just partner swarm oh, straight over the fucking. They just swarm of <laughs> climb over the wire. They'd get you. Oh, dude, that must fucking. World suck. War Two, they got hit with a lot of partner swarm. They'd blow a whistle, a dude with a sword would come running out of the fucking bush. <laughs> oh, that fucking sucks, man. Partner Swarm yeah. is one of the more – it's actually probably one of the worst and dumbest fucking military tactics of all time. Of just swarms. <laughs> like World War II, they would just <laughs> – entire units would kill themselves by charging machine guns. Oh, But fuck. they would have – like a guy would blow a whistle and one of them would have like a saber. They love whistles. They love blowing whistles in the middle of a battle. So it's like World – they use like full World War Z like referees. Tactics. They do World yeah. War Z tactics where it's just like enough people hit the wall and eventually – Partners, partners are going to swarm. Yeah. That's Asia as a continent loves that, including Russia. They love just throwing as many people as they can at <laughs> guns and seeing how many they can get. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude, check that. That's, that shit was killing me, man. Yeah, it gets me fired up. It's very fun to think about. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's all it is. You just picture it and you're just like, man, that's got to be fun to see. I mean, it's it's so silly. It's so funny to imagine dudes like fist fighting over like land. And there's yeah, there's no like result. territory. <laughs> there's no point. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, it's like get the fuck out of here, dude. And then like it's like a fort in the woods. You're like, dude, fuck off, dude. This is our yeah. fort. And you're just gone. grown men throwing rocks. It's like fuck these guys. It's like what are we mad at? It's like, I don't know. <laughs> fuck them. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, I I hope I hope this this will help. This episode will help you get out of the doghouse. What do you mean? You'll you'll feel distant from the issue, you know. Oh, for sure, dude. I'm I'm about to, you know. About to I'm gonna go upstairs and hug Phil. Yeah, I'm gonna. I, I that was the problem. I was sweetening, I was sweetening Bay over, dude. I was I just got I dude. I was like, let me pause over up Zellis. there and make sure she's cool. And then I'm like, so what's going on? It was just apparently I had done something. I'm like, what? so I was like, what the, what the fuck? I thought we were gonna fucking talk shit on your mommy. What the fuck? <laughs> she's <crying laughs> <about me. laughs> I thought we were gonna trash your mom. What the fuck? Why are you attacking me? So yeah, so I, I that's, also, that's the thing, dude. My my house right now, my mom, my sister, and my dad. It's just a constant, it's constant war. Really, it's constant. Like Total teams, war. teams are formed at any and at any moment, someone can backstab you in the middle of a fight. <laughs> like I'll be fighting with my dad, and all of a sudden, my mom will jump in and be like, "It's his turn to watch the television." <laughs> like there's just a new, <laughs> just an outsider comes in and throws a punch. It's like you bitch. <laughs> It's crazy. And my sister's a wild card, dude. She's she's got that like post surgery energy of just pure anger at all times. <laughs> so yeah. she's walking around like, Help me. <laughs> it's like, all right. Oh fuck, man. Yeah, it's Yeah, it's a good time. There's a lot of stress. There's a lot of people every day there's a bet like I'll sit down, I can hear they're trying to make dinner right now. So I'll sit down with them. My mom will give me one of the like we'll sit down for dinner. My mom will give me the worst pieces of information the least important things I've ever heard in my life. Like, like, like we'll sit down and we'll be like, so-and-so just had a, a hip replacement. <laughs> I'll be like, who the fuck are you talking to? <laughs> Why are you telling me that? <laughs> that's, well, that's on, that's what on radar, dude. That's like, I know, but I, I get, I hear about everybody's kids and everybody, what they're doing. And I just, I tell her every single time, like, you need to stop telling me these things. Yeah. I don't For some care. reason it makes me mad. What do you get told to about know. a hip replacement? Well, it just makes me mad to know that she's that far removed from reality. That she thinks this is pertinent information for me. That you that are someone got their hip replaced. Yeah, I'm talking like a dude that lives down my street, and I like him. He's a great guy, and I love his family. I'm friends with his kids, but like, yeah. it, it's like all right. I don't care. She brought like soup over to their house, well, which is nice, know. nice thing. But it's like. Don't tell me about it. I don't care. You don't want to hear the local like hip replacement news? No. I don't want to hear about so-and-so getting a – pools are big. Pools are big on the docket. We're talking True. pools. True. Well, hip replacement is a big deal. If you're, if you're like staring down possibly getting hip replacement, that's all you'll want to talk about. Like, <laughs> True. 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 
Because it's like any geezer is ready for priming for one. Like that's coming yeah. at some point. We'll we'll get our hips replaced. One of us. We'll probably both get our hips replaced at a certain point. Yeah. Knee replacement. So I don't know if again, dude. I might be dead. I don't think so, dude. You think that? But I think it's true. Uh, if I keep hitting this Peloton and not drinking, exactly. I just I probably just in two weeks I probably added five years to my life. <laughs> you're gonna ride that. You're gonna <laughs> ride that two weeks off. <laughs> you're gonna ride that Peloton into eternity, dude. You're gonna ride that. You're gonna ride that. That forever. thing might come off the frames. I might take it out of the house. <laughs> I'm the as hard as I'm pedaling it. It might. I might hit the open highway with it. <laughs> it's fun. It's the first workout I've done in a long time that I've actually enjoyed. Now, yeah. don't get me wrong. I'm gonna stop. Why? Well, <laughs> I'm yeah, just gonna stop yeah, for sure. Move, yeah, you're gonna move away. I'm yeah. gonna go back to New York. I was thinking about buying one. They're sure. about as much as one of those fucking switchers, to be honest. You should. Buy might, one. You can put it in my put it in my house. I wonder. I wonder if I get a Peloton that makes me like that has me positioned in a wheelie. That I'm just riding a bicycle with a bunch of young black kids doing a wheelie. Oh, in Philly, just yeah, popping a wheelie with the kids. Yeah, like a Peloton dirt bike where I'm just with Meek and I'm just fucking. You should. They should. They should have like a program, maybe like a VR program for people to run with, like like a swarm of black dirt bikers <laughs> in Philly, like Creed. <laughs> Meek Mills on the headphones. You get to jog at all times. There's just a hologram because you'd still need to be able to see. So it's just True. a hologram of black bikers around. It's like you. Pokemon Go of just yes, exactly like Pokemon Go. <laughs> like he's the, ch- black- the champ. He's the champ. Oh yeah, champ. And then you get to stand there and fucking and <laughs> dude circle you on fucking ATVs. That's a good program. That'd be all. Awesome. Except it only comes with a one Meek Mill album. <laughs> it just only plays that. Also, heard some news. Mac Miller, I think, was Jewish. Was he really? I thought he was, I gotta I look thought that he... up. I gotta look that up. That adds that adds to my account of white rappers all being Jewish. I thought they. I, I think they all like <laughs> present as <laughs> Irish. Mac Miller. Who was the other one? Uh, Little Dicky. Little Dicky. I know another Jewish rapper. Eminem. Eminem. What's that? Eminem's name? not. Yeah, Eminem. I think I. Th- I thought Eminem was like. I thought Eminem and Mac Miller were both Irish. Or of Irish descent, I guess. It's a strong accusation. I'm getting this information from my niece. Where did you, how'd your niece know about that? Um, because he went to her school. Yes, hmm. his mother's Jewish. Okay. Anyway, he went to my niece's school. And he like, it's a Catholic school. Gotcha. She's like, he went there even though he's Jewish. And I was like, hmm. Like, <laughs> I was <laughs> driving a car like... It's good information. Juice. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna relay this to a couple thousand people. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's up. Anyway, that's, anyway. Pretty close. that's good to know. I didn't know that. Yeah. So his mom, his mom was, and his Paul. Mac Miller. I've what been listening about, to a lot of Mac Miller. What about his Paul. Christian. Okay. Mac Miller rules. God bless him. Have you listened to some Mac lately? I never, I never got into him, man. I never get a. I never. I, I. There's something about. I'm telling you, I, I have as I get older. I have a, a weird time listening to white rappers. I have a weird time listening to rap in general. I think you should kinda, listen. To, he's not as much of his later albums are not very I listen rap to like. I can't listen. I, it's like you know. It's like you're rap. not wrong. You're not wrong. I've listened to it a couple of times and been like, I don't. I go in right. I go in waves. When he died, when people die, I like love listening to their music right after people died because I'm always like, ooh, I did. Nipsey. Yeah, I listen to so much of his stuff. I'm like, ooh, he died. I'll listen to it. Yeah. When he died, I, I was like, I want to like this. I laid in bed and I was just like. Ah, yeah, it's, it's it's not bad. I don't hate yeah. it. It was just I, you know, it wasn't. Two thousand nine is nice. He has an NPR tiny desk appearance that's fucking mm. sick. Yeah, it's very powerful and moving. Excuse me. Part Matt, can I finish, Excuse- please? <laughs> <laughs> How about I mean, dude? The, I think my favorite thing right now in rap is uh, whatever that guy's name is, Takashi Six Nine. He's making. Like him. He's kind of making ratting like you know, like no ratting, nobody rat. And now he's like, yeah, I definitely ratted. Fuck those guys. They're yeah, really, it, they said they're gonna true. kill my family. And it's like, it's also funny because yeah, that's that's the fucking that's the bit, dude. He's like, you in here for another motherfucker? Nah, you ain't a punk. You a new fool. Yeah, dude, for real. Takashi it's- needs to sample that joke for the beginning of a song, and he'd be a fucking, he'd be hilarious. I mean, it, it's kind of. He, it's funny because it's like I, Meek Mill was putting stuff out like y'all letting this rat walk around out here, basically saying like I'm gonna kill this guy, and it, it is funny. That like those dudes will do that shit of like this pieces of shit like ball and it's like, all right, I mean, or he could just sell drugs to his community and uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 or like, he could. 
All right. I mean, look, I'm not, you know, it's just funny for drug dealers, you know, high and mighty. Like, yeah, but I would never tell on anybody. It's like, okay, but you're going to murder. You don't tattle people, but, but you sell. They all brag about like selling drugs to like pregnant women. Yeah. Like you'll murder people. <laughs> you'll poison your own community with drugs, but you're not a tattletale. It's like, yeah, but they needed cool stuff, Matt. True. Obviously they're going to, you would sell drugs too. If you needed cool stuff. True. Maybe I would. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Maybe I would, but maybe no, I you would poison your community. Well, even back, I remember even back when I used to sell Coke <laughs> when I was a young kid, I remember I would still, I would get nervous. Like people would come to my house and be like fucked up and I would, you know, I'm not bragging, but I would stage interventions for, I would be like, no, I'm not selling you Coke anymore. You have a problem. And they're like, dude, are you fucking serious? And I was like, oh, I used to the worst Coke dealer of all time. I was a bad one, dude. I, that I would, sucks. It, it was pre. I, look, <laughs> if I went to buy cocaine from someone and they were like, you have a problem, man. I'd be like, you're fucking selling Coke, dude. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. That's what they would kind of do to me. I'm like, I don't care. I'm not telling you this. You're, you're like, dude, dude, there was like, I don't know, there was just like a couple of them. There's like beautiful young, I'm, I'm 19, so all my cohorts are like 19, 20, 21. Beautiful young women. I would just watch them over like the course of like a couple months. They would turn like gray almost. They would just look, and I'm like, dude, I, I can't, dude. I'm watching you like degrade. I'm not, I didn't have like the best moral compass back then, but I remember being like, this is fucked up. Dude. Yeah, I, yeah, I can't yeah. Can't do this. But then again, for me at nineteen to be doing that and being like, what did that would that guy tell that fucking piece of shit? I'm like, they're selling coke to some guy's daughter, ruining her life. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> dude, it's like, grow the fuck up, dude. You're 35 years old. Like, if you're yeah at 19, I get it. If you're 35, like, yo, who's out here, man? It's not even it's not even right anymore. It's like, dude, give it up, dude. Selling think, coke sucks. No, I agree. I agree entirely that uh, it's funny. It's weird for dudes to say all that, but it is. It's just because Takashi Six Nine was talking all that shit before he snitched. It is funny. I mean, he did. That's he the did. only thing. In fairness, then this is what they said, and I will give this to them. They're like, he's not a civilian. After he put out a hit on Chief Keef, so he sent Chief Keef up to get murdered, and then we're like, those people are going to kill me. It's like, dude, you try to kill Chief Keef, dude. Wait, he tried to kill Sosa. That's what they got. That's what they got him on. He was. He was he, trying to kill Sosa. He put a hit on. He put money on Chief Keef's head on Sosa, dude. He put a hit on Chief Keef, and that's what, what? the FBI. I didn't know that. That's what they nailed him on. Dude, I love Chief. Chief he, Keef's gonna murder that guy. I, dude, he put he Chief put. Chief Keef's gonna murder that guy. Chief Keef's got. It was, although Takashi had some very scary music videos. To any New York <laughs> dudes in rap videos in Chicago, they were two of the most retarded groups of people I've ever seen. Yeah, really, they are scary music videos. His, fucking Chief Keef's Chief scarier. Keefs, Chief Keef's was all shirtless dudes that were clones. Yeah. They were all shirtless clones. They were all skinny dudes with dreads <laughs> holding AK 47s for some reason. In a, in a one bedroom apartment. In like, one, like, like with wooden floors. <laughs> like, like, just, but I will say this 6 9 had a scary crew. And the, the reason New York dudes were scary like that is because none of them, there was no dress code. They were all dressed like, I don't know, there's something off. They, they were just like, like a Bobby Schmurder music video where he's yeah, wearing scared. weird, like women's sweatpants for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> like the whole crew is clearly retarded. It's like a body glove jumpsuit. You're like, that guy's yeah. gonna kill me, dude. The whole team is retarded. That's when it's scary. Yeah. That's, well, it was. I think, Lunatic, sorry. Great. Like the St. Lunatics. Great. Oh, for sure. No, they're not retarded. They're wearing cool outfits. Yeah, dude. What did you just do? The dude had, no, the dude has the half yeah, mask. Welcome. Welcome to the Brotherhood. <laughs> yeah you're talking about murphy lee murphy lee dude he's got the mask <laughs> dude, no they were fun but then you cut to the, those guys like bobby shimurda and takashi six yeah. it's just a dude just absolutely retarded people just gangland they're like this is an episode yeah. of gangland with a soundtrack yeah the uh <laughs> fucking uh yeah but yeah, apparently takashi six nine was like backed by the these like this group of whatever yeah. you know it's like the bloods but like the something something bloods and uh yeah, they like just started extorting him and using him and like yeah, I saw that. fucking yeah. family. But apparently, so he got caught putting a hit on Chief Keith, and then these people were going to kill him, I guess, because he was hot. And then he just was like, "Well, fuck it, I'm going to rat on these guys." But now he's like, "I'm back, bitches!" And it is funny, like all that snitching, this and that, and it's like, yeah, I mean, he, I guess. he's very funny. I, it's just weird. It's like it, I, it's weird to be a. Uh, I was thinking about this today. It's weird to be like, you know, it's funny. We can just kind of watch rap and be like, oh, there's rap, you know, and you can listen to it, get pumped up and work out. But like, yeah, 
for some people, that's like the the thing. Like you watch rap, that's and their like, code of life. Yeah, it's like I gotta, like, I have to abide by this, and this is get a, very, all of this is very the bag. I have to get a, I have to be a duffel bag boy. That's yeah, imagine, what I'll be. <laughs> dude. Imagine if like the your your like your hobby was just continuously putting in your head, you're a loser unless you murder someone and sell drugs. Just like, look, you're a fucking loser. You're lame. I'm having sex with your girl. They're constantly having sex with everybody. I'm gonna girlfriend. fuck your mom unless you <laughs> kill somebody. I'm like, I'm I'm having sex with your mom and your girlfriend. And the way that I did this is I murdered people and sold drugs, and now I'm having an excellent life. And that's just cycled into your head all day, every day, yeah. constantly. And then you just go home and watch Scarface. Yeah, and you're like, okay, that's all it. you watch. <laughs> that's, you're like, that's how I want to do it. It's like it's, he gets shot. <laughs> he, gets, <laughs> he goes down like doing a mountain of coke and shot in the back, and people are like, "That's how I want to well, go." Just, it's like, just, it's you no good. End, you just end up in like a, a Crown Victoria, like slumped on Zannies and crash into a gas station, just go to jail for nine years, and that's like that's that's the true. truth. That's like the truth. You're just like, you're like, what's this lean stuff about? And you're like, ah, you drive into like a fucking bush, like a speedway, <laughs> like, life's over. Like, yeah, that's pretty great. <laughs> that's pretty funny. <laughs> Like twenty nine inch rims, just slowly in a parking lot at like a Dairy Queen, like bumping into the wall, <laughs> like not even breaking through it. Just <laughs> yeah, man. I I knew a guy who was thirty something years old who I was trying to talk out of doing. I think I've talked about this before, but I was trying to talk to him. I was trying to talk him out of taking uh, Percocets. He was like popping Percocets. He was taking um, Suboxin, the the dissolvable like Listerine strips of Suboxin. <laughs> <laughs> he like just got into these. And I'm like, dude, you're like way too old for this shit. I'm like, you yeah. missed this whole, it was a black dude. And a lot of black dudes missed out the whole pill craze from like the white suburb type stuff. And I was like, nah, dude, like I've seen your story play out 10 years ago. And like, you're yeah, just we getting, did it. yeah, it's like, don't do these. And he was like, bad. Oh. he was like, man, no, no, no. He's giving back and forth. And he's like, why? Like, what's bad about him? And I was like, you're going to do heroin. <laughs> That's how it ends. <laughs> he would, he wasn't hearing that. And I was telling him that. And then he, I was like, well, I was like, dude, you can literally, like, it, it gives people erectile dysfunction. And he was like, nah. -uh. I was like, yeah, fucking does. And he was like, nah, what about that Meek Mill song? I pop a burk. I fuck your bitch. And I was like, it's not. That's, He's that's lying. A, that's a guy. It's a he guy also who's, didn't murder anybody. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm like, he didn't pop a burk and have sex with your girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, how's your, is your girlfriend okay? Yeah, he dude. Fuck her. I'm telling you, I was thinking about that today. I'm like, look, people can say, like, oh, that's bullshit. Rock and roll is evil. It's like, yeah, the, the, you know, rock and roll is con concerning at its time. Worshiping the devil. Nobody wanted that. But, like, this is pretty clearly and explicitly telling people, like, look, there's one path to success. It involves murdering your peers and selling everybody drugs and robbing other drug dealers and becoming, like, that. Like that's it, dude. That's how I rule. Yeah. It's like, what are you, a fucking accountant? Pussy. Nerd. And it's like. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm pretty sure the accountant lives a little bit better of a life than the average person <laughs> trying to fucking rob drug dealers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So all my black conservatives, if you're out there, dude, don't fucking fall into the bullshit. You know what it is, dude. You know what the fuck, yeah. fuck it is, dude. You know the deal. <laughs> I'm talking to you, my BCs. My mom's a black conservative now. Really? Told you, man. She sent me. Well, my oh, mom, yeah. Same I with my family. My mom, my family's converted. The black conservatives. First, first we, of all, yeah. I've been getting so many chain mails from my fa right now. My my family is erupting in chain mail emails. That reminds me, just got one. I haven't opened it yet, dude. I'm gonna. I'm, I might open it live. Live. I'm getting. My mom's been hitting me with stuff of like, I'll get an email from my mom that's like, colleges are denying Islamic extremism. I'm like, mom, come on. This is this is this is old hat. Like people are over this thing right now. I get Facebook. Um, the Facebook message I got was actually kind of almost, I almost shared it, dude. They were like saying that senators, kids don't have to pay back their college uh, loans. And I was like, fuck, I should probably actually share this. this, this is that true? I don't know. It doesn't matter. This Which, one from Phil Gillis forwarded from the squad. Dude. The yeah. squad forwarded this <laughs> title. Have we lost our minds? Hypocrisy at its best. <laughs> Look at this fucking email. dude. <laughs> Oh, oh, don't want him to get Phil's name. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be so funny if Phil started getting emails. I'm gonna From an older to... friend who lives in Naples. Some are good, some are strange. Hope everyone is staying safe and healthy. The following, the following points are where we are in America today. If a dude pretends to be a woman, you are required to pretend with him. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow it's un-American for the census to count how many Americans are in America. 
Russians influencing our elections are bad, but illegal Mexicans voting in our elections are good. It was cool for Joe Biden to blackmail the president of Ukraine, but it's impeachable offense if Donald Trump inquires about it. 20 is too young to drink a beer, but 18 is old enough to vote. I guess. Raise the limit. Yeah, right. Yeah, they, 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 the Republicans have been trying forever to stop having kids vote because yeah, kids dude. always vote Democrat. Well, it's true. Yeah, because kids get like, if, if like, yeah, like Puff change. Daddy, Puff Daddy's <laughs> like, yeah, vote or die. And I'm like, all right, cool. I guess I'll be a Democrat. Yeah, here's how it got a little rough the fourth one down. People who have never owned slaves should pay slavery representations to people who have never been slaves. Wait, what, was that one? what was that one? People who have never owned slaves should pay slavery reparations to people who have never been slaves. Oh, my God. We're we're getting close. (laughs) Inflammatory rhetoric is outrageous, but harassing people in restaurants is virtuous. Fuck. I mean, it came out pretty hot of being like, we have to pretend along with these fucking trans. Yeah, that was my favorite one. Oh, dude. I was using... uh, I looked at uh, Hinge in Mechanicsburg. Yeah. And one of them was like, because hinge has these things it's like explain like facts about you or something and one of them was like if we're not on the same page about trump and transgenders don't fucking like my <laughs> it's like you called them transgenders hell yeah <laughs> irish doctors and german engineers who want to immigrate must go through a rigorous vetting process but any illiterate central american gangbanger who jumps the southern fence is welcome <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Oh, look, and this is just, it's just nonstop. It's just nonstop. So it's, you're you are just getting like geezers are f- getting fired up. It's just a geezer out. checklist of things you need to repeat at some point. Like somebody's going to be like, what's going on? You say, I'll tell you what's going on. We see other countries going through socialist, you know, governments and collapsing. And it seems like a great plan to us. That's so fucking fun. Dude, this ask, is. Ask uh, me how it's going, dude. Dude, watch. This is the. Ask me how it's going. How's it going? Criminals are catching release to hurt more people, but stopping them is bad because that's a violation of their rights. I think that was in response to this fucking jogger. This is terrible. Oh my god! Pointing all this out, all this hypocrisy, somehow makes us racist. Please, please, dude. That's circulating. That's a that's a that's a dad forward. Oh, it's so fucking funny. <laughs> It's so fucking funny. Was every single dude I knew from high school's dad was in that forward chain. Oh, dude, this is <laughs> – I'll screen share the one that I just got. Um, it's kind of, it's just funny because it's like I was telling I was telling my mom, I'm like, don't don't give them money because this is – it's easy. I might actually start one of these things. It's It would be pretty easy to grab a couple bucks off this. Yeah. So here it is right here. I don't know. Maybe people are getting my email address. Maybe. I don't know. But the, uh, so uh, this is, I don't think no, so. You're good. So whatever. Email me. <laughs> yeah. I don't care. The, uh, actually all the emails I give out are forwarded here anyway. So here, this is the, uh, as a member and dear Mary, as a member and activist, <laughs> the nation's premier grassroots national security organization is our responsibility to stand up and speak out on important issues. Here are three actions you can take under 10 minutes to make a difference to our country. Tell Scottsdale community college, to not censor class on radical Islamic terrorism. <laughs> I think this is photoshopped. I don't think that's an actual college. <laughs> Tell the Senate to support the Securing America's Medicine Cabinet Act. Don't even go back up is. to Scottsdale. Dude, that's, like, if that's real, and Scottsdale put their sign right in front of the fucking HVAC system. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's real because it's like this Y is kind of going over this tree, and this is a, a known. Microsoft Word font. I don't know what it, this is like Calibri or something. <laughs> it's like Joker MFT or whatever it is. Yeah, that doesn't seem very real. I don't think that's real. This is just a bunch of pills, and this is just China. It's like fucking China. Look China at, must be investigated. Look at them. And then it's like, oh, by the way, we rely on patriots like you to help spread peace forward. This is a five, and then donate. It's like, what the fuck did they, I'm like, mom? They just forwarded bullshit. You better not be donating to that. Oops, went all the way up to my thing. <laughs> <laughs> but the uh, yeah, yeah, that picture that picture is creepy too. It's like I don't know, not creepy. What, three people, three girls wrapped. It's in very head. funny. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's very funny to be like, this is gonna work on old people. They love <laughs> youth and this country. 
wrap children in an American flag and like, oh, by the way, donate for us sending you three shitty stories. Scottsdale Community College better be teaching Islamic terrorism. Fuck, they better not stop talking if about If they it. stop... God oh, damn it, I'll be pissed. Please, please tell Scottsdale Community College not to... Start. It's, like, what the fuck? it's just one class of like 20 kids. Yeah. Just 20 yeah. losers that aren't going to learn about Islamic terrorism. Well, yeah, it's just like... It's, it would be funny if it was like the national board. It's like Scottsdale Community College. I know. Yeah, it'd be yeah, yeah it'd be different if it was Harvard or Yale. Yeah, or like a prestigious like national story. Yeah, Scottsdale, Scottsdale Community College is can teach. They could teach pro terrorism, and I'd be like, yeah. All right. Also, imagine if you're going to school <laughs> at Scottsdale Community College, and they're like. Someone's fired up whether you're learning about terrorism. It's like, dude, I'm trying to become the manager. At yeah, the place uh, this I'm isn't – we're not going to be anything in, like, intelligence community. <laughs> None of us are going to the Middle East to, you know, infiltrate ISIS. Yeah. We're working – we're well, going to open Some might be. I, I'd say maybe a couple actually might – actually, no, because you're on the GI Bill. You're probably going to go, like – you can go pretty much yeah. anywhere almost. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They're not going to, like, leave there and go – might have might have, like, the elite – uh, anti-Islamophobic. Uh, they might have the elite Islamophobic uh, university. You know what I mean? The Scottsdale? That school? That school? The Scottsdale School of... Yeah, yeah how are you going to stamp that out at Scottsdale Community College? Like, do you think... Uh, is we there Islamic it. extremism? They're like, yeah, definitely. No doubt. Yeah. We need that and gym class. <laughs> <It's really kind laughs> there's, there's half those kids are taking, like, health. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Let's get right, out of here. Wrong, you you have to go fight your, yeah. your lady. Let's go resume go. our let's resume our war zone. Let's resume our beefs. Oh, All big right. news. I'm seeing a shrink on Wednesday. We'll see how that goes. Telehealth? Are you gonna do the zooms? I'm gonna see if I can fix my brain while also Ooh. using Peloton, dude. Dude, you should shri- you should zoom in on Peloton. Be like, listen, I don't really have much time. Go ahead, Doc. See what you can do. You can <laughs> I'm a little busy. I'm excited for you. I think it'll be fun. You'll, I think yeah, you're, we'll gonna see. Like you're, you're gonna like it. It'll be fun. I think therapy's gay, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Tell him that as soon as you go in there. I'm say, I'll be honest, sir. Therapy's gay. Yep, that'll be so fun. I I'm very excited to hear about this. All right, I'll talk Bye, to brother. you soon. Later, man. Bye. Bye.